pure fire, pure fire coming through out of the bunker, okay? This pure fire is on, and it's taking suction, taking suction from the whole bunker, alright? Pure fire is just starting to get into the heavy fuel oil service tank here. And then from there, it's going into your fuel booster module here. Somebody's getting mileage on their credit card. Yeah. Did anybody get their windows done or their oil checked out of that deal yesterday? We got 10. Oh, you already told me yesterday. It, it, it's almost, it almost happened. There. Well, if you're right on it, you, you fuel for free. I was only 59 gallons off on the light. <laughs> How low were you when we pulled into Murphy Dock yesterday? Oh, shit. We still had. Uh, what? 17,000 left in the bunkers. I think we had eight in one and just about eight in the other. Okay. Or nine in the other, I mean. And do you fix that number two to, to, to alter the viscosity or is that for the jets? They all, they already have it mixed when we fuel. Okay, so we then I saw two I saw two hoses, a fat hose and then a thin hose. Well that, that that's one is that that's it was just for a generator, uh these no, generator. Number two. Yeah. We used to burn that in our boilers still with the, the repower that we got the new boilers that are designed to burn heavy. Yeah. Well, it's quite it's quite a fuel saving if you look at it, you know, from trip to trip. We don't really actually we burn a per day in the main engines, we probably burn a little bit more than the old days. But, you know, because you're not burning it, you're not burning the generators on the run anymore, because you have the attached generator taking over the electrical load. Yeah. Saving so, a lot of fuel. In, in essence, you're, you're, the, you're the guinea pig with the new engine. The new engines where the miner and the marker and the other ones all still have the field sticks. And the miner and the marker. Oh, well, they got uh, new engines in the Lee A. Tregurtha and the, uh, the Otto Hall. Yeah. Uh, the Bergen engines are they're similar to these. They're junk compared to the MEK. But you said it was because of the emissions more than anything. I did not. There was nothing wrong with the fuel sticks, but you changed them out because of future EPA emissions break it out more than anything. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. If you got to see those, it, it, and they truly are an amazing engine. I mean, they're running better now than they have when they're brand new because of all the in-place machining. Like I said before. See, originally when them, 
when the peel sticks came out, they were made in Beloit, Wisconsin. When they first did the boring and stuff on the blocks, their boring tools weren't as, as good as what you have now. And whenever Fairbanks Morris has a problem, like with machining and, and stuff, they get in place machining like we've had. They're out of Milwaukee. They, they do machining all over the world. They're out. I mean, they're they one hell of a You guys can do a cylinder bore with those have those instruments sitting on the on the ways. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they pull. They'll pull. Uh, you know, you pull your line, your whole liner assembly and everything. We've uh, we've done the fire deck on the top. We've done the the lower. The upper bore and the lower bore, we sleeved the lower bore and brought it back to better specs than it was when it was brand new. Wow. Yeah, you did you take what they do is they had Fairbanks Morris is one hell of a company. When they sell an engine, there's a what they call the birth certificate on that engine. They have every measurement that you could possibly imagine. They hang on to that. So when a company like In Place Machining comes along, well, we have to machine this. Okay, here were the original specs with the crank at top dead center, and they, they do a hell of a lot of measuring before they, they start doing any kind of machining. It's really something to see. But they got it down. I mean, they make it look so easy. It's really amazing. I mean, most of the last pictures watching you guys now, would you have had all the uh, computer controls on the old engines, or is oh, that all no, new? No. Just would have been all manual gauges, analog, yeah. 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 So you have to become a computer operator to run the engines now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can chart. We can go back from day one when we started sailing, and you can chart out every reading that you want on these engines. You know, over time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Every pressure, every temperature has been recorded since they were turned on. The ultimate big hours? brother watching you, huh? It's, it's amazing. It's great. It yeah. really is. Helps you diagnose problems, probably. Oh, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's an old fashioned yeah. isn't it? Yep. No kidding. 7,000 hours. So if you have problems, they can see that's exactly. where they're, that's where they're bringing this to the next step is die care. So you, it's not set up yet, but it will be able to shoot them any information. They can uh, they're going to be able to look at it and get back from it like that already. Before people, people enjoyed cleaning the stream and they wound up opening and closing and turning things 